So I got a text message from the technician at the Bakersfield dealership telling me that my car was ready to be picked up. Uh, he told me that they had replaced some three-way valves and that my air conditioning and my heater are now working perfectly, which I mean, that's great. But the problem that broke me down wasn't the AC or the heater. So I'm hoping that they also fix whatever caused my car to uh, say I was having a cooling system problem and put me in a limp mode and leave me stranded for hours, 100 miles from home, 150 miles from home. Uh, the text came in while I was driving, so I couldn't really ask for more clarification on that, but I do have a lot of questions that I plan on asking tomorrow when they pick up my car. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, trying really hard. I just, I just really just want to be excited and just love my new car. And at the moment I'm not really feeling excited or loving my new car. I'm, I'm actually scared to drive it. Uh, you know, I pick it up tomorrow in Bakersfield and I have to drive back to the coast, which is, you know, about 130 miles of, you know, mountains and pretty remote. Um, and I'm just terrified of breaking down again. Um, just nervous. Uh, also, you know, when I first got the car, there's a bunch of things on the application that, you know, like climate control, pet mode, etc., that you're supposed to be able to control from the app on your phone. And none of those things work for me. Um, and when I called customer service, I was like, she was like, okay, well, we'll open a ticket. And then two weeks later, they called me and they're like, oh yeah, those just aren't available. And it's like, well, <laughs> why am I seeing it if I can't use it? And there's not really an answer to that, which is frustrating. Um, so I, I, I know myself, I'm really tired. This was a really big event for us. It's like one of our biggest events that we do every year. And you know, like we finished up last night around 3 a.m., had some odds and ends to take care of this morning. I just drove four hours and I'm exhausted. So I know that that's putting me in a more pessimistic mood than I normally would be. But I am, I am having concerns about this car and I am, like I said, I am nervous about driving it home tomorrow. Like I do not want to get stranded again. Like that really, like my old car was pretty much the cheapest new car that you could buy 10 years ago. And it has never once stranded me in 10 years. And it was a third the price of this one. So I don't know. I'm just trying really hard not to, not to be in a bad mood about this car, but um, like I said, I definitely will have a lot of questions for the service tech tomorrow. Um, hoping to get some more information about the app too from them, maybe have them look at that for me. Um, probably, oh, the, the other thing was that there's like a loud creaking noise. It sounds like it's coming from the area of the moon roof. Um, my sales rep had said that she forwarded a video that I took of that noise to the service techs, but I haven't heard anything about that from them. So I have to ask them about that because that I'm concerned might be like a structural problem and like, you know, a car that leaves you stranded on the side of the road is not safe. A car that has structural problems is not safe. Like I can, I can deal with, you know, quirky. I can deal with, you know, funny little error messages. I can deal with annoying. I can't deal with unsafe. Um, like a car has to be safe, otherwise like why the hell would you drive it? So again, trying not to be overly pessimistic about this, but I do have some concerns and I'm hoping that I can get at least some of them addressed tomorrow. But anyways, that's, um, that's all I have for right now. Just wanted to give a quick update and uh, once I have a chance to pick up my car tomorrow and talk to the techs and get more info, I will definitely update here.